Hey Joe, just want to wish you a happy retirement here from inside the Channel 8 vehicle. I'm out here shooting in the rain, and I'm sure that's one of the things you'll miss most about working here at Channel 8 is getting out in the rain and getting those important shots. So uh, we will continue to shoot in the rain in honor of the great and legendary Joe Wiedemann. Uh, happy retirement, my friend. You've earned it over 40 years of consistency. You've been a great company man. So. Uh, we, we wish you a very, very happy retirement. And we look forward to that next album dropping with enthusiasm. Take care, my friend. Hey, Joe, hiding out here in my little uh, work hovel at home, uh, like many of us, I guess, right now. But I just wanted to wish you congratulations on your retirement. That's so exciting. Uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to it. And well-deserved after all the years and energy you put in there at KFMB. Uh, I miss you and I miss everybody down there in San Diego. I had a great time with you guys, as always. And uh you know, I worked with a lot of great photographers over the years, but obviously you were something special and, you know, such a hard worker and so talented and you just always knew what to do in those tough situations. So I miss you and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be in touch soon and uh, I wish you the best on your retirement. So good luck and uh, have a great time. Talk to you soon. Hey, Joe, good luck on your retirement. Uh, I got the chance to work with you quite a bit in 2017. Wish I got a chance to work with you more since then, but uh, when I did, it was just always such a pleasure. You're such a great guy, uh, so knowledgeable. Um, all your work was always just amazing, and uh, I remember some good moments, and I hope you have lots of good moments ahead in your retirement. You deserve it, so congratulations again. Best of luck to you, and hope to hear from you again soon. Joe Wiedemann, this is, ah, let me get this darn thing off. Joe Wiedemann, this is your life. Well, at least your life the way I remember it in a minute or less. It all started back in 1981. You were a young, talented photographer working with some of the most state-of-the-art equipment. Well, it's not you, but man, this is a cool picture. the good old days, working alongside your favorite reporters and anchors. Well, at least most of them. And how could you forget fixing all of those broken three-quarter tapes and no cell phones using the old pager system? You worked with four fine supervisors, one in particular I'm sure you like the most. A young kid out of the South Bay who you actually trained and then became your boss. But in all seriousness, Joe, I've never really been your boss. You've been my mentor and someone that I could look up to. So I thank you for your 40 years of service here at KFMB, and I hope you have an awesome retirement and rock on with your music. Damn planes. Hey Joe, it's Lamour. It's Stella, hi. Congratulations on your retirement. I had no idea, because we're on maternity leave here walking our babies. We worked together almost every night throughout the pandemic. And, um, and now he's leaving. I know, <laughs> I've seen a lot of your work. Lee Moore has told me that she's worked with you. So congratulations on your retirement. Enjoy this, this uh, new chapter in your life. KFMB is definitely gonna miss you. I can't believe I'm gonna potentially be coming back with no Joe at night. Oh, <laughs> you will be missed. Have an amazing next chapter, Joe. Joe Wiedemann, how's it going, man? I heard you're retiring. That's tremendous. This is your old pal Clint. I'm really happy for you, congratulations. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if you started scoring some Hollywood movies. He's got some great talent, man. Uh, maybe I'll see you over in Lahaina sometime. I, I got a buddy that lives over there, so once in a while I get over to Lahaina. But anyway, um, all the best to you, and I think you and Dwayne, you're going to have a lot more fun traveling and stuff like that, so that's great. All the best. Take care, man. Bye. Hey, Joe. Congratulations, man. 40 years is a long time, but phew, went by fast, huh? Well, Enjoy the hell out of your retirement, man. Have a great time. Make that time go as slow as you can. And um, good luck, man. It's been great working with you. Hi, Joe from Point Race National Seashore in Northern California. Heard you were retiring and just wanted to say really enjoyed working with you. You are a great professional photographer and uh, congratulations on retirement. Hi, Joe. I really enjoyed working with you so much. Enjoy your retirement. So well. 
Congrats, Joe. Welcome to the 40s Club. So glad that you could join us. Uh, off with the silly mask. That's just to mark the era that we're in. This is my oasis that I enjoy now that I'm retired. And I'm so doubly glad that you decided to retire too. Enjoy this next journey in your life. Thank you for all your help with subpoenas and video over the years, all the great Christmas gifts you would give me and have a wonderful time again in this next journey. You earned it, you deserve it, have fun. Joe, congrats on retiring. You are someone I definitely looked up to, always positive, never complained. You will be missed. Have fun. Joe Wiedemann, retirement, really? The party's over. It's time to call it a day. Just kidding, Joe. Your party's just getting started. And I just want to say congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. I remember fondly back to those days in the early 90s on the night crew with you and me and Kushi and Andy and George and Todd and oh, the fun that we had. We were so young then. Um, but seriously, thank you. Thank you for being a talented colleague. Thank you for being a wonderful friend and thank you for making a huge difference in my life. Um, what a wonderful ride. Um, and what a privilege to call you friend. And have a good time doing whatever it is you're gonna do, you and Dwayne. Congratulations on your happily ever after. But remember, if anyone ever asks, I'm the pretty one. Love you, Joe. Mean it. Huggies. I got the car pulled over and stopped. I jumped out, grabbed the camera, started rolling one of the most amazing things I have ever shot. Joe, you are amazing. Can you believe this was 12 years ago, March 2009? I remember we were on our way to a different story, but you were listening to the scanner traffic and you're like, if I pull over right here, I could probably get them coming by. And you got the car, throwing money out of the window, the money shot. Really amazing. I really enjoyed working with you all those years on the night shift. You always kept me calm because we know I can get a little bit crazy. I'm really going to miss you so much. Your talent, your insight, always knowing where to be to get the best video, the best interviews. Joe, good luck to you. Happy retirement. Enjoy life. We're really going to miss you. I wish you and Dwayne the very best. Mwah. All right. Was that too long or do you need to, do I need to ask Joe to recut it? <laughs> Hi, Joe. It's Eileen Steris Gaffin. 40 years. Wow. It's amazing. You and I worked together during your entire first decade at KFMB, and I really enjoyed working with you. Uh, my fondest memories are just what a kind person you are, hustling out there to get the news, and I imagine you brought that same hustle and kindness all 40 of these years. So congratulations. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Congratulations, Joe, 40 years. That is amazing, uh, hard to believe. And you get to walk out of here when you want to. That is a privilege. Uh, I hope I get that privilege someday as well. You'll be greatly missed. Your skill and expertise when it comes to shooting video, editing video, uh, helping nurture young reporters to tell their stories better. It's meant so much to this station. Your institutional experience and expertise, it's meant a lot. But more than all that even uh, is the heart and soul that you brought to this job. You always looked out for those other angles and stories, kind of the human aspect, uh, doing the right thing. And I always appreciated that voice whenever we were meetings or talking about stories. Uh, you'll be greatly missed. Best of luck. I, I hope the music career uh, continues to grow and that that provides you a lot of satisfaction and that you and Dwayne have the best of the times. Congratulations. Take care. Hey, Joe Wiedemann. I just got word from management that they're rescinding your retirement because you chose to retire on April 1st. Go figure. Anyway, seriously, thank you for being a great coworker, a great friend, getting those bold opens in on time. I appreciate that. And thank you for hiring me to design your two CDs. That was a great project. Enjoyed it. Best of luck to you. Keep the music coming. That'll keep you young and enjoy life. Take care. Hey there, Joe. I heard you're retiring um, after 40 years, which is a long freaking time. 
Um, I'm happy for you. Um, I know good things are waiting. And on the other side here in the retirement community here, um, you're going to love it. Anyway, uh, I know you're going to have to use a lot of tissue paper in that newsroom. Uh, I miss everybody there. And I hope you have a great day. Uh, from sunny Oregon, have a good one. You are going to have time to put your toes in the sand. Do whatever you want. Like sands through an hourglass, the possibilities are endless. How are you ever going to decide <laughs> what to do next? <laughs> Joe, is this your Uncle Cletus from downstate Indiana in Salisbury? Of course it's not. Joey, wow, 40 years. What I remember about you is your attitude. It was always positive, always happy, and always appreciated. Enjoy your retirement. Hi, Joe. It's Gary Seidman, your uh, long-lost uh, colleague from about 17 years ago. It's hard to believe. Time flies, I guess. Um, anyway, I just wanted to congratulate you on um, on your 40 years with KFMB. That is uh, quite admirable, um, super impressive. Uh, well done, sir. I've always respected um, the dedication you've given to your craft. And I also enjoyed the roughly four years that I worked with you. Um, so have a, a great rest of, uh, rest of your life in retirement. And I wish you the best of luck. Take care. Joe, Joe, Joe. Wow, you're retiring. Well, congratulations to one of the nicest guys I've ever met in TV news, which isn't always a nice business. You were always the night side guy and I was the daytime girl. So we didn't get to work together that often, but every time we did, you were calm, you were friendly and helpful. And that's why you've survived all these years in this business. And I wish you the best. And there's a wonderful life after local TV news. Mwah. Joe, congratulations on your retirement, man. Uh, very well deserved, obviously. You've been a prince of a guy the whole time that I've known you, just about three or four years. I remember I was only here about a couple months when you had to jumpstart my car in the parking lot one night after work. Uh, much appreciated at the time, and until this day, you've been uh, one of the nicest guys here, that's for sure. So, uh, got no doubt you're going to enjoy every moment of your retirement. So, rock on, man, and take care. Hey, Joe. Can't believe you're retiring. Really? I can't believe, I can't believe it. it was just like yesterday when Rebecca would call us early into our shift and then we'd come in to the newsroom, hit the ground running, and then we'd have to do live shots and packages for the early show. And then we'd have to turn around and do it again for the late night news at 11 o'clock. You and Daryl and George, and of course, MG, partners in crime here, and Brant. Brant and Todd, we were the most amazing family and I'll never forget it. Those were some of the best of times in my entire career, truly. And um, it almost, it was, it's like it didn't last long enough for all of us. Um, it was just a very special, special group. And I'll never forget you. You were always there for me. You were, I'd be writing my stories and you'd be hanging around, circling the wagon saying, are you ready? Are you ready for me to edit yet? And you'd be there and you'd get my file video and you were a reporter's dream. And I love you dearly. And I wish you the best, the best of health in the years to come. You and Dwayne, I love you. I'll never forget you. It was the best, best years of my life in journalism. I love you. Hey Joe, just want to say congratulations. You're the only guy I know who ever did a live shot driving across the corn out of bridge, right? I do kind of remember that. Now we do that every day. What's the big deal? I don't understand. Anyway, just want to wish you uh, happy further, you know, future times, you and Dwayne, and hope everything's good with you guys. Talk to you later. Oh, and you know what? There's somebody else here that wants to talk to you. Joe, you might not recognize me, but I want you to know that I think the world of you, and my memory is the money on the freeway, which you never got enough credit for. And uh, I just want to tell you that 
th this is a good time to retire and I think you're gonna have a great uh, world ahead of you. And please call me and I'll take you guys out to dinner anytime. He didn't offer me dinner. <laughs> Happy retirement, girl! We're coming to you from El Dorado Hills, just east of Sacramento. I can't believe it's been more than 15 years since I left San Diego, but I still miss my entire KFMB family. Joe, congrats on 40 years. That's a major accomplishment. I hope you enjoy your much deserved time off. Enjoy, Enjoy your retirement, Joe! Bye! Well, Joe, I'm coming to you from the National Cathedral in Washington to wish you a wonderful retirement. When I thought about my time working with you for a dozen years, all I could think of was, wow, that guy was low maintenance, a hard worker, always did great stuff, and you deserve uh, time off to enjoy yourself and hopefully write some more great music. Hey Joe Wiedemann, Lennon Oziesway here, wishing you a merry 40th year work anniversary and a happy new year, happy new retirement years. Yes, that's better. Hey Joe, congratulations on surviving 40 years at News 8. That is quite an accomplishment. So I remember you for many years when I was working down the street at KNSD and I'd see you out in the field. And then of course we worked together at News 8 for a while. And I just have to say that you were one of the most consistently nice people I ever worked with. And I really appreciate that. And I wish you a lot of luck and I just have one question for you. And that is, how is it after all these years, you still look like a teenager? Best of luck to you, Eddie. So that's a media coder. Okay. Then there's two Eric Swansons. I got the one, whatever was in FTP is what I got. Because I got to slack all this stuff to Monica because she's not in here. I took it out of media encoder. I know. So I don't know what was in FTP. Home, that's like impossible, I know. Right. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what was in FTP. I took it out of media encoder. Joe's going to miss all this stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> the blue tent. All right, cool. Communicate. No, <laughs> Stop. And then I shot some stuff at a hospital. I saw that in the pack, so that's cool. I got that. Okay, yeah, because in my raw video, uh, only the first victim is one of the victims. The second guy isn't the guy. Okay, all right. Are you on deadline, Colleen? Uh, yeah. How close is your deadline? Uh, six o'clock. <laughs> You're really close. You should get to work. Ah! <laughs> Hi, bye, Joe. <laughs> get out of here. Just one time. Call me, hey, you butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Happy retirement. It's been eight years, and I can't believe I still remember my first story, but maybe because it was with you. Uh, we were out covering some armored SWAT vehicle, but what I remember from that day is how nervous I was for some reason, but more importantly, how supportive and calm and genuinely helpful you were to me. And I thank you for being that good, kind person to this day. I think that is what I appreciated most about you as a colleague, talents and great work aside. I'll miss you, Joe. Job well done. Happy retirement. Joe, congrats on working 40 years at KFMB. That's a huge accomplishment and you've totally earned your retirement. Hope you enjoy post-KFMB life and keep making music. See you later, buddy. Hey, hey Joe, where you going with that drink in your hand? Heading to the islands, gonna frolic same yeah happy retirement buddy stay healthy be well and um job well done congratulations joe felicidades congratulations on four decades of excellence and of course when we talk about excellence we got to talk about kfmb cbs news 8 or one of the many names that it's been known as over the years um it was a pleasure to be able to work eight years with you at channel 8 you're one of the kindest uh, 
classiest guys that I worked with, not just here at Channel 8, but in the TV news biz here in San Diego. I learned so much from you. And uh, to this day at the Sheriff's Department, I always say, if I can stay cool like Joe, if I can help others like Joe, and most importantly, if I can live a good life and uh, share in the wealth of experience and friendship and kindness like Joe, then uh, I would be a very happy camper. So indeed, I am a very happy guy, and you played a, a, a part in that. So thank you, Joe. Congratulations on your retirement. Have an awesome time, and hopefully you invite me and all your Channel 8 friends to Hawaii someday when we can celebrate after all this craziness goes away. Congratulations. Happy retirement, Joe. Hey, Joe. I did a little bit of math, and it turns out that we worked together for 10% of your career, but 15% of my career, which means literally you had a bigger influence on my life than I did of yours. And the thing is, that's actually true because beyond just the time spent together, I always knew when I went out with you on a story, no matter how ridiculous the thing that came from the news desk was, that we were going to have a good night, that whatever we were working on was going to turn out, that we were going to enjoy hanging out together, doing the thing that we were doing. And um, that's really meaningful, right? To, to spend so much time of every day with somebody who you just get along with, who always wears a different lumberjack shirt. So there's variety. And uh, really, I just enjoyed the four years that we worked together. And I wish you the best. I wish Dwayne the best. And uh, nobody deserves a better retirement than you. Hey, Joe. Greetings from the Southern Oregon coast. Well, we're retired. We're old. When did that friggin' happen? I can't believe I've known you for 40 years. Have a wonderful retirement. You're going to love it. It's really fun not to have to work every day. And gosh, what can I say? 40 friggin' years. You in 99. Uh, Jutland Court. All of those parties. The Wii Festival. Oh my God, the Wii Festival. Joe, I named my firstborn after you. My Joey is a sweet boy, and you, Joe, are a sweet man. I hope you have a very sweet retirement. Love to you. Hey, Joe, Craig McKee here. You know, hard to believe, 40 years that you have been in this business, and now you're set to retire. All I have to say is, come on, you have another three to five years in you, right? And seriously, I so enjoyed our time together in San Diego. I wish you the very best in retirement. I know it will suit you well. Okay, first of all, in case you're wondering, we have been vaccinated. We had a booster <laughs> shot. So we can stand this close together and wish you a happy retirement. It's great. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you think it will be, it probably won't, but it will be great. <laughs> and, and Joe, thank you so much for all your help early on when I needed it so badly. You were a prince. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, Joe. I heard the good news and I'm very excited for you. Um, I'll tell you, it's Great being retired, especially when there's a, a pandemic going on. <laughs> but anyway, it's been, it's been real and I still keep in touch with my people back from KFMB and it still feels like one of my homes. And I hope you'll feel the same way about the people that you worked with because we really had a, we were very blessed to um, know the people and enjoy the uh, good times that we had. So good luck to you. Um, I hope you know what you're going to be doing and and enjoy it. And 40 years is a long time. So um, I don't know who's next, but I'm glad to hear that you are retiring and hopefully on good terms. So take good care. Peace out. Bye-bye. Hey, Joe. Congratulations on your retirement. Um, it's, it's kind of an odd feeling. It's like I'm the last old guy left on <laughs> the night shift who been around for a while but uh, I'm gonna miss you I hope you have a long and happy retirement and uh, hopefully when all this is over we can get you and Charlie and a bunch of the other guys and get together and have a proper goodbye party I hope you uh, enjoy your retirement I hope you rock retirement Joe good luck hey Joe there's still time to change your mind what do you say <laughs> Um, good luck with whatever's coming next. Um, thank you for all that you have done for KFMB and the city of San Diego. We're going to miss you. Hey, Joe, it's Johnny B in the control room getting ready to go live. Hey, I just heard you're going to be retiring after 40 years. That's highly impressive. 
I'm really gonna miss you, Joe. You made my job so easy. I remember when we went out in a live truck, that little Astro van that you had, we took it down to Little Italy to the Princess of Wales to do a story on the Royals, do a live shot. You got in, you set up the camera and the lights, microphone, got the interviews, got the footage. Load that truck back up, move on to the next story. That's what you did. You're always amazing. You made my job easy because you'd call me in transmissions. You could have your shot tuned in in under 20 seconds. Most of the time you were pointed directly at the mountain and that always was amazing to me. And I'm really gonna miss you, Joe. So I hope you have a great time in your retirement. I hope you get out to Maui, enjoy some sunsets and rainbows, whatever you do. I know you're gonna have a blast, but we're really gonna miss you here, Joe. One of the best in the business. And I'm glad I got to work with you all these years. Anyways, I hope you have the best time in your retirement and congratulations, my man. I'm really gonna miss you. Hi, Joe. Congratulations on 40 years. That's an amazing accomplishment. Glad I got to be along for part of it. Joe Wiedemann, 40 years at one place. Congratulations to you. I left there in 1988 and I can remember working with you so many times and appreciating your professionalism and how you put a story together. You will thoroughly enjoy retirement and be well and take care. Hey, Joe, it's Jan from a million years ago. It's about time you're retiring 40 years. Sheesh, dude, really? Okay. So it's time to get out there. 40 years of exploring and adventuring. Yeah, got to get out. All right. So safe travels. Congratulations. Congratulations, Joe, on a great career and Thank you for being such a great coworker, a fantastic uh, employee to supervise. I've got to say over the years, you were absolutely one of the best of a great Photog staff. And I, I remember saying back in the day when I, I think I had 36 or 37 people that I supervised, I remember telling somebody, I wish I had 36 Joe Wiedemanns because you were so low maintenance. You were such, did such a good job and always turn in excellent work and everybody liked working with you. No problems. And I hope you have nothing but the best during your retirement. I hope you get to spend some time in Hawaii. Maybe you're headed there, I don't know, but congratulations, congratulations. And I know you're gonna love it. Hi Joe, Dawn here. Happy retirement, 40 years at KFMB. That's quite an accomplishment. But you don't look a day over 40, so I'm sure that your parents were surprised when you were born and you had a camera embedded in your shoulder. I really loved working with you and Chris Smith when she was here. We worked our bums off, but inside that van, we laughed our asses off. It was so much fun. <laughs> And so fun to work with someone who took it seriously and knew that we could just breathe and laugh when it was all over. And I love you. You know that. And I love that husband of yours. And I hope you um, get to all those projects you want to during your retirement. But no one, no one can imitate and be Max Hedrum like you were at my Halloween party at my sweet little house between Mission Hills and Old Italy. So enjoy, make the most of it, and come on over for dinner. I'll cook. Mm -hmm. Joe, hello, happy retirement. I wish I got more years to work with you, but I'm really grateful for the time that we did get to work together. I hope that my career is even half as cool as your career has been. You're such a staple of News 8 and I look up to you in a lot of ways. So have the best retirement, have a bunch of great times on the beach, relax, chill, forget about both thoughts, just be you. <laughs> Hopefully that was cool, I don't know. Anyway, congratulations, Joe. Very, very happy for you. Take care. So Joe, you're uh, a little bit ahead of me. I will uh, see you in Hawaii soon. Hello, Joe. Congratulations on retirement. Remember when we used to do TV inside an actual studio? Times have changed. You know, I was at uh, Channel 8 for 12 years. It were great 12 years. Of course, it wasn't my idea to leave. And when I did leave, the people I missed the most were the photographers. And while you and I never got to work together that often, I love seeing you every day at the station. You know why? Because that meant my day was almost over. But actually, there was another reason. It was always fun to see you come in, 
because there was just something. There was a vibe about that that night crew. Back when George Pinocchio was the 11 o'clock producer, you guys just seemed like the cool kids. And as I worked there over the years, I came to realize you really were the cool kids. And I think that about you, Joe. You are cool. You're a great guy. I'm very proud of you. I'm glad for the opportunity to know you, to have worked with you, to be a part of this crazy business. Best of luck. Ode to Joe Wiedemann. Joe, it's been a pleasure working with you. You are by far one of the nicest people I've ever worked with. And I work with Scott Hall sometimes, so that says something. Seriously though, you've been, you always keep such a cool head. I don't think I've ever seen you lose it. Uh, it's just, I think that would frighten me to see Joe Wiedemann lose it. And I, I hope you never do lose it. I, and I hope you enjoy your well-deserved retirement, sir. It's been a pleasure, an honor serving with you. Bye-bye. I just want to say hi, Joe. Congratulations on your retirement after 40 years of being in this place. Unfortunately, we didn't get to work together a lot one on one. But one thing I do remember is that prior to the pandemic, we would leave around the same time at the end of the night and we would always say goodnight to each other in the parking lot. And I will always have fond memories of that. You were the last person I saw at the end of the night before getting in my car and <sighs> You won't be around to say goodnight to once everything kind of gets back to normal and everyone starts coming back to the station. But I wish you the best of luck and uh, stay in touch, Facebook friend. Hi, Joe. Wow, 40 years? Oh my God, you're a total unicorn. Hey, listen, I always used to tell people the photographers at Channel 8 were smarter than the reporters and you're one of the people that made that statement true. Congratulations on this accomplishment. Happy retirement, Joe. Congratulations. It's a big step. You deserve it. You've done such a wonderful time at uh, KFMB. I know you will truly be missed. Um, I want to thank you for everything that you did for me while I was there. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, definitely going to miss those run-ins at Popeye's, at Rubio's, even at uh, Chicken Charlie's. Hope you enjoy your retirement. Well-deserved, well-earned, uh, and hope that you will delight us soon uh, in a new album. Now that you will have the time, maybe we can even get together for another album release party, just like the last time. Uh, so looking forward to that and happy retirement and enjoy it. Hey, Joe, congratulations on your retirement. You'll definitely be missed, man. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun, get to make some cool music and, uh, and get some sun. All right, brother, I'll talk to you on social media. Later. Hey, Joe, congratulations on your big retirement. Hey, when I heard that you were leaving KFMB, I was like, what? What are you talking about, Joe? Isn't he only like 29 years old? <laughs> anyway, congratulations. You were wonderful to work with, but I'm sure you already know that. Uh, but seriously, you were amazing to work with. Uh, you were one of my favorite photographers, if I never told you that. Uh, just so easy to work with, and I'm so happy that you are um, getting to retire and you're gonna have fun. And uh, I'm sure you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Hawaii. And Mark and I definitely want to spend time uh, in your condo, if that's still uh, being rented. We've heard some great things, things about it. But uh, anyway, enjoy this next phase in your life. You're amazing and uh, a lot of great things are in store for you. I can just feel it. Hey, in case you're curious, I am at Johnny B, John Boren's house. He's helping me update my headshots. He's a, oh, there he is. Can you see him waving in the background? <laughs> and Michael Scalise, thank you for allowing me, giving me grace and letting me slip this uh, video in at the last minute. The truth is I wanted to do it a couple weeks ago, but you know, now I'm working remotely and half the time I'm in my pajamas with no makeup. So this is the first time I got dressed. So I thought, hey, good time for me to shoot a Joe Wiedemann tape. Anyway, I love you, Joe, and uh, hope I see you soon. See you later. <laughs> Hey Joe, the one thing I can remember is back in the newsroom days when people would call me asking for video, the best thing I could tell them was call the video company, 272-5990. That was the best times. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the next part of your life there and, uh, and I'll be seeing you. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. I remember working with Joe as far back as 1984. In fact, it was New Year's Eve 1984. We were out on a live shot uh, together somewhere in the college area. I would often go out with Joe on the night shift 
back then as a news writer as I was building a resume tape that I would send out and try and get a job on the air. And the quality that Joe has, I think, that's wonderful in an industry that is very impatient. Joe Wiedemann is a very, very patient person. And that's a wonderful quality. And he helped me build my career way back then. So see, you can blame Joe Wiedemann for Graham Ledger, not just Graham Ledger for jo Graham Ledger. Thanks, Joe. And enjoy Hawaii with Dwayne. Oh, Joe, congratulations. Coming to you from the beautiful Pacific Ocean where uh, the sound of rushing water has a certain effect on me, so I'm try not to go too long here. Joe, great news. Good for you. Early, early. Remember back in the day, before you were even thinking about retirement, we were working with people like Susan Lichtman. We were working with uh, Patrick Crosby. Camera assistants. Do these names ring a bell? Christy Smith? Ken Moore, those are my first days at Channel 8. You'd already been here for a couple of years by then. And I had a lot to learn from you, and I've tried to put that into practice. You're the dependable, level-headed guy, passionate about his work, uh, setting a wonderful example of how to get your stories in on time. I didn't always perform too well on that part, but... but Joe, I just... We had a couple of years together on the night shift that were so nice. And then Charlie Landon and uh, Ron Espinosa lost their privileges to drive. And I filled the hole on the day shift for a while and left you in the night shift with good feelings of what I learned. Thanks, Joe, for helping me start my Channel 8 days pointed in the right direction. I sure wish you well on your retirement. Joe, the world is your ocean. Go get it. Best to you and Twain, much love. Congratulations. Joe, so happy for you, man. Glad uh, that you're taking the time to, to for the next chapter in your life. Um, we're gonna miss you. You've done so much for the station, for K, you know, for what KFMB is, what it is now. Um, been here for a long time, and I'm, I'm a little jealous that I'm not retiring. But I can't, I wish you nothing but the best. Enjoy your next stage in your life and, uh, and don't be a stranger. And you know that we'll always be here as your, as your KFMB family. Thank you for all that you've done. So my freelance photographer was shooting this Joe, AKA Chris. He said I was being fake. So decided to go into the other room and do this myself from my little tripod. But I just wanted to tell you well, I don't really know what to say because you would always be the one that would be writing or calling out my intros and my tags who always had something so clever to say. I'm gonna miss that about you as much as I'm gonna miss so many other things about you, Joe. You are the most reliable person I think I've ever known and I've ever worked with. And I'm always in awe of you because you're always so modest. And, but I always know when you know that you're doing a good job or you did good. It's like you have this little pep in your step where you're out there taking pictures of your lighting and I'm like, oh, Joe's so proud. So am I. Um, but being in this business for so long, I just always thought, gosh, how does he put up with my shit? But I'm sure over the 40 years, you have put up with a lot of different characters, um, but you do it with grace and you do it with such a great comedic, dry sense of humor. Gosh, I'm just going to miss your little one-liners. I'm going to miss so much about you, Joe. I cannot wait until you ride into the sunset and you and Dwayne and the cats all live happily ever after. Love you, Joe.
Hi, Joe. Audrey and Rick here in the parking lot of the beautiful Spiro's Restaurant in Scenic, St. Louis, Missouri. Wanting to wish you the very best and congratulating you on an amazing career and much happiness and good health in your retirement. I'm going to toss it over to Rick now. Thank you very much. It's not Powers Plays. It's congratulations to you, Joe. I can't, that's unreal. Over 40 years at KFMB, we wish you the very best. Take care. Joe, Joe Wiedemann. I got word that you're retiring over, it's been 87 years, I think. Long time but very, very fruitful and successful. I remember when I first started and how kind you were to me and how, what a big difference it made. This is the photo staff when I first got to Channel 8. They were very hardworking and industrious, maybe a little bit smelly. Joe loved covering sports. This is some work from an early San Diego football game. It was the, uh, the Chargers hadn't arrived yet. This is a game between the San Diego Murderers and the Cleveland Cannibals. No concussions during the game, but they had a lot of dismemberment. He enjoyed covering the horses at Del Mar. The ponies weren't all thoroughbreds back in those days. The woolly mammoth hadn't been completely bred out of them yet. They weren't especially fast. They were just so big, but they were pretty tasty. At the end of every race, all the losers would be eaten. Uh, the winners, they were lucky. They wouldn't get eaten until the next day. Uh, a little bit later, after the stick period, we finally got into film. Some of you will remember film. This is a picture of Joe and me with our first film cameras. Now we couldn't figure out, along with the rest of the staff, how to make the pictures move. Well, it turned out the engineers and management bought the wrong cameras. How could that ever happen? So we had to move on. Here's, here's a picture of Joe with the first uh, film camera. And you can see he's trying to figure out where he can put his scorched sticks and charcoal uh, for his images. But we found out actually that film goes in there, changed, changed everything. News conferences were huge in the old days. Here we all are gathered at the uh, Lamont Cribbage Pierpont News Conference where he announced the invention of what he called sharp thing on a stick. Uh, the next one, this is probably the biggest news conference I remember us covering. This was when North America announced its separation and independence from the landmass that was Pangaea. That was a huge deal. Uh, as soon as it was over, we all immediately had to break down and get our stuff back to the station because deadline was usually about a month. The following decades brought so many changes, but you know, uh, who cares? Because I don't. And I figure that neither Joe or Dwayne will... What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a uh, goodbye video for Joe. Joe? Joe Wiedemann. Joe Wiedemann? Joe Wiedemann. No! No, not Joe! Not Joe! No, 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 no! No, not Joe! Not Joe! No! 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 Honey? No, not Joe. Honey? Not Joe. Come in here. No. It's okay. Come here. What? It's okay. Come what? On. He's, he's not dead. I'm just doing a good bar. He's not dead? No, he's not. He's retiring. Oh, God. Big deal. That's the most distraught I've seen her since the uh, Kmart closed. Well, Joe. I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Uh, if it's like mine, you'll be really happy you did it. Uh, one tip, don't eat the uh, horse meat. It's really high in cholesterol. The mammoth meat really messes it up. Is that sirens I hear? Did you call the police? Are the police coming? Hey, Joe and Dwayne. Dwayne, can you get us two copies of this for, um, for um, Betamax and... and uh... VHS. Oh, and we love you guys. We miss you. Congratulations, Joe. And San Diego looked like a war zone. 
we'll show you the incredible rampage by a hijacked tank. It was a frightening scene. A man who reportedly had emotional and financial problems got a hold of an army tank last evening and took it on a wild ride through the streets of San Diego, crushing everything in his path. Except for you, Joe, thankfully, the fearless photographer that was in the tank's path. And all these years later, it's the number one video on our News 8 Throwback YouTube page. So thank you for that. Oh gosh, what do you say to somebody you worked with for 31 years and just adore and appreciate so much and I'm so sad that this whole year I haven't really seen you. So times are crazy. Hopefully they'll get better and I wish you and Dwayne so much happiness in the future and know that you have made such an impact at News 8 and we love you and we will miss you so much and Let's have another reunion sometime in the near future, but somebody else can plan it this time. We sure had fun doing that though, didn't we? Love you, Joe. All the best. Mwah. Joe's retiring. Joe can't retire. He's only 25. Just look at him. Happy, super healthy, long retirement, Joe. You deserve it, buddy. Hi, Joe. You may remember me from when I was an intern in my late teens and then a writer and fill-in producer in the newsroom uh, many moons ago, nearly 20 years ago, believe it or not. KFMB has always been a family to me and it's great to be back in that family even from afar from here in DC. And the reason that is, is because of people like you. You've always been such a caring figure and so talented. I've always said that News 8 has some of the best photographers in the entire country uh, and some of the very nicest people. And even as a producer, uh, you've always been so helpful and going the extra mile to make sure uh, we have what we need. So thank you for all of your dedication over the years for your craft and your skill uh, and congratulations and good luck on this next chapter. Bye from DC. Joe, this is what retirement's like. You know, you get to do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. I am so proud of you completing your 40 years or whatever there at Channel 8. I mean, uh, you're the most even-tempered photographer. A lot of us thought, you know, this is what I do. This is who I am. I'm a news photographer. You, however, is like, this is my job. I do this, but really, I'm a man of the world. I'm cultured. I, I make music and everything. And one thing I got to say throughout the years, uh, you're so even keeled, you know, you're never mad, you're always supportive, you're always there for me while I'm burning up and I'm going crazy and I'm throwing F-bombs around, you're Mr. Calm and Cool Collected. I know the uh, night photographers, I mean the night reporters are going to, they'll never be the same after you leave, Richard. I'm sorry, Richard, but he's got to go. Dwayne and you, Joe, are going to have the time of your life. I hope to uh, drink a Mai Tai with you on the deck in Maui when the time comes. And uh, as they say in Hawaii, pow hana, done with work. Joe, all my love. Bye-bye. All right. Got to do it. Hey Joe, Sandra and Susan here. We are in the most beautiful place. Gorgeous. And we've been thinking about where you should retire. We know you love tropical destinations and this is definitely number one so far. We have been doing extensive research and we will continue to continue. do. Yes, but, but first we need another beverage. beverage. Yes, but we want to say best of luck to you. You were just the best working with as a photographer. For sure. And I can't believe you're old enough to retire. For sure. I get it. <laughs>
You never get older. Sure. <laughs> yes, this is funny. So best of luck to you, and uh, we will continue to do the research. So cheers to you, Joe. Cheers. Hey, Joe, I bet you never had to do this as a photographer. Had to encourage your interviewee to hang by the camera so you could, like, talk to him. <laughs> There he is. Congratulations, Joe. I wish you awesome retirement. You so well deserved. Great working with you at KFMB. Maybe we'll see you in Hawaii sometime. Hey, come back here, Jack. We're talking to you. Joe Wiedemann is retiring? Wow. Joe, you seem too young to retire. I mean, I can understand old guys like Bill Tracy and Tom Warren retiring, but you? My goodness. Well, Here's wishing you all the best. When I think of uh, Joe Wiedemann memories, I think back to those old days in Unit 99, all those long nights we spent together in that beautiful luxury van of yours. I can think of looking up B-roll, counting on the Wiedemann file. But Joe, I will tell you, my fondest memory of you is back in the late 80s, I got a job offer to go up to Los Angeles and you and Dwayne were kind enough to throw this great going away party. So many people showed up. It was one of those parties where you wake up the next day and you think, oh God, what just happened? I think I did more than just watch Saturday Night Live videos. But anyway, it was a great going away party. And then I decided to stay. You guys threw a going away party for me and I didn't go away. And for that, I will always be grateful. What a memory that was. All right, Joe, wishing you all the best in retirement. Good luck to you. Good luck with your music because I know you're going to absolutely thrive doing that. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Tom Warren, Bill Tracy, those old farts. Joe, this is what I get to do with eight weeks a year of vacation. You picked a heck of a time to leave. Eight weeks a year of PTO to enjoy places like this. Oh wait, you're gonna get to do that every day. Uh, never mind. Hi Joe, it's Hal. Congratulations, 40 years at one station, most of it or all of it on the night shift. That is amazing. Uh, I retired almost 10 years ago and I can tell you it's wonderful. Not as great during a pandemic, but it's still pretty wonderful. You were always a pleasure to work with, even though it was usually dark and sometimes really cold. But you were always in a good mood, always had a smile, always had a laugh. Enjoy your retirement. You have definitely earned it. Joe, congratulations. Retirement. Wow. Who's next? Not me. See ya. Hi, Joe. This is Andrea Nakano. I'm coming to you from my office during the pandemic, which is my car, and I'm in Concord, California today. I heard you are retiring, and I was sad and a little bit relieved I have to be honest because if it was one of your co-workers retiring I wouldn't have any appropriate stories to tell I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you taught me I don't know if you remember one of our conversations earlier on you probably don't but I said something and the way you handled it you were calm and you were professional and that is the way you were 100% of the time. No matter whether San Diego was burning, it always felt like we were in a library of sorts where you just maintained your professionalism. And that is something that I've tried to carry on throughout my career as I visited other stations from Seattle to now in the San Francisco Bay Area. So I just wanted to say congratulations and I hope you have a very happy retirement and enjoy many sunny days in Hawaii. Hi, Joe, Victoria Johnson here. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be a part of Chopper 8 from 2006 to 2013. Uh, great memories and great crew with the folks over at KFMB. And wow, 40 years. You definitely earned that eight ball if we're still doing that. So I just wanted to say congratulations and I wish you all the best in your retirement. Well, Joe, you are one of the most talented photographers I've ever worked with. And not only that, you are genuinely one of the nicest guys I've ever had the pleasure of spending my days and my nights with over these past 12, 13 years here at Channel 8. And for your very special goodbye cheer, we have a special guest star for you, the one and only Sasha Fu. Hi there, Joe. Tilt, pan, 
move the fan. Get all the pictures that you can. Tilt, pan, move the fan. Get all the pictures that you can. Hi Joe, it's George. I know it's been 25 years since we worked together, but I still remember those days pretty well. I remember you were always on time, you never missed slot, you never complained, and you always produced really good material. You really are at the top of your game, probably always have been. I miss working with you. I'm still working, because even though you're retiring, I know we're close in age, but now we're suddenly like 20 years apart because I've got so much longer to go until it's my day. But when you leave, I hope you get one of these. I kept mine, and I know people say hats off when you retire. I won't say hats off. If you know me well enough and long enough, I'll just say, best off to you, Joe. You're one of the best, and I wish you well in the next chapter of your life. Hello, Joe. Congratulations on retirement. I cannot believe that it's been 40 years already. Um, you were one of the very first people I met at KFMB when I joined, um, and we were both working the night shift. You and Brant became very good friends, and, and you remain one of my best friends, and I am eternally grateful for that. Um, I am so thrilled that I'm able to come to you from my office here in Balboa Park, and um, I look forward to us getting together, um, especially a concert. We were very far overdue for that. Um, I trust that in retirement, you're going to be following your passion of music, and we would really look forward to your next compositions. So. Joe, congratulations, 40 years, it's a tremendous run and you've got many, many more good years ahead. Look forward to seeing you, take care. Hey Joe Wiedemann, it's Andre Morrow. Happy retirement, 40 years, wow. So I'm guessing the very first thing you do with your time off is not gonna be going on a cruise right off the bat, maybe later and um, Hopefully you're not locked down at home or anything like that either, but uh, that could be the case for a little while. But nonetheless, retirement is great, and I hope you have a great one. You're a great guy, enjoyed working with you, and I know the entire KFB family feels that way. So all the best to you, Joe. Hey, Joe, I hear you're retiring. Well, I probably have some advice for you. Well, right now you really can't travel much. But, you know, if you have a backyard where the sun hits it, you can try gardening. I have. Um, I build the planters, and my wife attends the garden. It works out pretty good. We've got broccoli, carrots, potatoes, celery, onions, green onions, lettuce, lots of lettuce. You can see these two planters here are full of lettuce. Well, anyway, I got to thinking, retirement, what are you going to do? I know one thing, you're always very, very fastidious with records. In fact, I remember uh, about halfway through my career, 15 years or so, uh, I asked you, Joe, I said, how many stories have you done in your career here? And you said, well, I've actually kept about uh, a thousand scripts so far. And I'm sure by now it must be in maybe 10,000 by now. But anyway, you got to thinking too, plus what else could you do? So Joe, if you don't want to raise plants and garden items, you could raise puppies. We did. We raised 13 yellow labs. Uh, well, I had help. I had help from my son, my wife, my grandson. And here's my sister-in-law from Oregon who's picking up on puppies. And we have George here who's, who's eyeing my carrots. Now look, you got puppy food somewhere over there, but I've got my carrots. And I tell you what, what do we want to say to Joe? You want to say, Joe, what's up? Happy retirement, Joe. I wish you all the best. So I worked with Bill Tracy and he retired. I worked with Charlie Landon, he retired. You can't blame this one on me. I had nothing to do with it, but Joe, what I do know is that you deserve it. It's been awesome working with you for the last 20 years. Happy retirement, we'll miss you. Hi Joe, Kathy Diamond here. You were already at KFMB TV for two years when I arrived in 1983 to co-host Sun Up San Diego, but you were already a legend by then and now, Three decades after I left, you're still there. Congratulations, well done. What perseverance, what dedication, what talent and skill you have shared with all of us here in San Diego. Thank you so much and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. And remember, 
Retirement does not mean not working. It just means only doing the work you want to do. Congratulations again, Joe. Hey, Joey. So a million years ago, when I had come down from the, uh, the North Country and joined Channel 8, one day they said, uh, oh, your cameraman's over there. His name's Joe Wiedemann. And I went over and I remember thinking, is this kid old enough to have had his bar mitzvah? Well, you proved not only to be a great cameraman, you just proved to be a ton of fun. Very important in my books. And loved working with you, even though we didn't really actually work all that much together. But shall we say, we were in each other's uh, orbits for uh, many, many years. Anyway... At this point, I still can't believe that you're old enough to retire, but in that you are, you'll have a lot of choices of what to do with your time, and I'm hoping that when you just need to put up your feet for a couple of minutes, you'll think of old Lorraine here, and I will have a place ready for you in my little piece of paradise. Love you lots, Joe. Your name here. Hey, Joe. Happy retirement. It's Jesse. There's Glenda. Hi. 40 years. Oh my God. It's, it went by quick. And um, we're going to miss you. We're going to miss those parties, the hanging outs, you, Dwayne, everyone else. But uh, hopefully we'll get together anyway. Um, by the way, Glenda just got her dose of the vaccine. And this is for you. I'm going to go and do my, I'm on my second dose. Drinking it for you, Joe. We love you. Dwayne, take care of him. And Best here's wishes. to you. Best wishes. Congratulations. Ah, that's better than Moderna. No side effects. Okay, enjoy. We love you, Joe. Bye. You too, Dwayne. Joe, congratulations on your retirement from KFMB. Wow. You had a standout career at Canal Ocho. With all of your other interest, I know you're going to be busy all the time. Try to relax, try to enjoy yourself. Since your retirement, I would assume a position will open up for a cameraman. Well, here I am. I even come with my own camera gear. I've got my Bell and Howell 70 DR with all the lenses, and I'll also include my Atlas street map to get myself around to assignments. Anyway, congratulations and good luck in the future. I'm shooting my Goodbye Joe video on the couch with my feet up because this is about to be Joe Wiedemann's full-time job. A lot of people probably don't remember that for a full year, Joe and I worked together exclusively every night on the night shift doing one day advanced stories for the 11 p.m. news. And that was a wonderful year for me because we really got to know each other. And I found out that Joe really loves putting away carne asada nachos for dinner. I also would like to say that I think I'm the only person in the newsroom to ever see Joe lose his temper when we drove all the way to Valley Center and he discovered that he had forgotten his camera back in Kearney Mesa. Joe, we will miss you so much because you're pretty much the nicest guy I've ever met. And I would say that you are the nicest guy, except I still work with Scott Hall. Happy retirement, buddy. We love you. We to face. I cannot believe you are retiring. I am so excited for you. I can't believe when you've, you've been in this business, this crazy TV news business for more than three decades. I can't believe I've known you <laughs> for more than three decades. And during that time, you have always been the consummate professional, uh, always going for your best, no matter what story we were doing, whether it was you know, a drug bust, uh, murders, fires, rapes, uh, car chases, whatever it was, you were the consummate professional. You were also uh, incredibly kind and compassionate, and you were also so much fun to be around. So congratulations on an extraordinary television career. I'm so excited for this next chapter of your life. 
um, hopefully it will be a little bit more relaxing. You'll be able to sleep late and stay up late and have long, luxurious lunches and dinners, not thinking in the back of your, your mind, oh my gosh, there's breaking news. I've got to gobble this sandwich down and get on the road. Anyhow, all the best to you, my, my friend. Um, this next exciting chapter of your life, I hope also will be more musical as you beef up your orchestronics, your love of classical music. It has been an honor to be able to say that we have been colleagues for more than three decades. It's been even more of an honor to be able to call you a friend. Cheers to you. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. I'm not ashamed to say, I hope it always will stay this way. My hat is off, won't you stand up and take a bow? right before our birthday. Yay! <laughs> Share Final, birthday. Final words, Joe? Uh, it's been great. It's been fun. Thanks, everyone. How many years? 40. 40. Like Four zero, exactly. 40. Just a blink of time. Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really. I know. Joe is the coolest, most laid-back photographer ever. Oh. Sorely missed. Already. I'll be thinking of everybody. I really will. Yes, Joe. That's all, folks.